Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to properly install ZenMap on Kali Linux without getting any type of error. So it took a couple of hours for me to figure out what's the issue with ZenMap and Kali Linux. Uh, looks like after uh, Python 3 update, this issue has been happening on these operating systems, especially Kali Linux and Parrot OS. So I was eventually able to figure out what the issue is. So it looks like we have two main uh, reasons that we are getting this error. One is because ZenMap is using a Python and the paths are not matching up. Looks like it's not able to uh, figure out where the uh, path for those packages are for ZenMap to be able to use Python. And two, there are three main uh, packets that are missing uh, from ZenMap. So what I did was I was able to first install ZenMap, uh, reinstall it, and uh, go ahead and create a new directory, download those three packets, and run ZenMap from sudo privilege. So that's what we're going to do all together. So let's go ahead and do this. We are going to follow these eight steps that I have already listed here, which I will also include down below in the description uh, to be able to fully fix the ZenMap issue. So first, we're going to start by uninstalling ZenMap because you probably have already installed ZenMap on your device and you have issue and you're getting some type of error and ZenMap is unable to run. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uninstall ZenMap. We're gonna go ahead and open our terminal and we're gonna run the install command, okay, paste it here, we're going to put our password, and it should be installed now. Might take a couple of seconds, but Zen map is right here, so it should be removed after the install is completed. So yes, it's already gone. And make sure your system is also up to date. So let's do sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade all right mine should be uh up to date but let's see all right yeah it looks like there are some package that needs to be installed so go ahead and fully up to date your device as well Okay, our system is now fully up to date. We removed ZenMap completely and we updated our system. So now we're going to go to step three and we're going to go ahead download ZenMap. So we're going to run Firefox and then we're going to navigate to NMAP website. And from there, we're going to go ahead and download ZenMap. So we're going to type ZenMap here. Then from there, we're going to go to ZenMap official website. We're gonna go to download web page. We're gonna scroll down and as soon as you locate this RPM file right here, you're gonna go ahead and download it, uh, which I already done it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and exit out of this and I'm gonna navigate to my download directory. And we're gonna do ls. As you can see, I have the RPM file already downloaded. But for us to be able to continue, we need the depth file and for us to be able to convert RPM to deb, what we're going to do is we have to use a command called alien. So if you don't have alien, go ahead and download it. You simply do sudo install alien. And after you get it, you can just simply do sudo alien and then you do zenmap uh, Zen RPM. As soon as you run this command, it'll give you the deb file. Already have the dev file, so we're gonna go to the next step. Next step is for us to convert this dev file to an executable file. So how do we do that? We're gonna use chmod command. So we're gonna do sudo chmod uh, 700, and we're gonna go ahead and click enter for dev file. We're gonna do ls. As you can see, the dev file has changed, and now it's green. All right. So now that we have the executable file, we're gonna do sudo dpkg. We're going to do dash i, we're going to do zenmap, the dev file. So make sure you get the dev file there. And as soon as you go ahead and click enter, uh, you're going to go ahead and install a zenmap. But we're not going to run it because if you run it, we're going to face with the same error again. As I mentioned before, it looks like there is some type of issue on Kali Linux 
uh, working with ZenMap on the latest update. So there is some path issue and there is some missing uh, package. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to download the package uh, to be able to resolve this issue. So I already included uh, the links for these package down below in the description. So what you're going to do is you're going to run these individually to be able to download these packages. So we're going to copy every one of them and we're going to go ahead and download them. Okay, didn't want to do that. And go ahead and bring up our command prompt. We're going to do control V and click enter. It's going to download the first packet. We're going to go to the next one. We're going to copy this. And go ahead and paste it there. And click enter and we're gonna go ahead and do the last one and after this we should be hopefully able to run Zen map and copy this and we're gonna go ahead and paste this here and now we downloaded all three files as you can see these three Python files are the file we have to install and the way you install this you're gonna do sudo dpkg I and we're gonna do Python. Okay, we're gonna do Karya first, and then we're gonna do sudo dpkg. I we're gonna do Python, and this time we're gonna do the uh, gub file. We'll go ahead and click enter, and then lastly we're gonna do sudo dpkg dash i, and this time. We're gonna go ahead and install the GTK package. And as soon as this is done, we should be able to run ZenMap. So let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. Uh, ZenMap is fixed now. Uh, you're not getting that error anymore. If you were still facing with some issue, please uh, let me know. Uh, leave me a comment down below with your error message. I'll definitely help you out. But if you follow these steps that I will also include uh, in the description one by one, especially uh, the first two, you shouldn't have any problem. And as soon as you download these three package, you should be able to run ZenMap. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I hope uh, you were able to fix the issue with me today. In future, I will upload more videos about how to use ZenMap properly. We're going to go through some basic and some advanced scanning and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please go ahead and like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Thanks again and you have a great day. Bye-bye.